Hi there Virgo, welcome to a Law of Attraction reading for June 2020. It's Raina here. This is not something I do every month, but I just had this idea. I was just kind of perusing Pinterest and uh, this popped up. And uh, so this comes from Emerald Lotus CA. I think they have a new website though. I think it's called Emerald Lotus Tarot or something like that. So I'll lay out the cards and I'll tell you what each card represents. By the way, I, I do get this from time to time. I, I realize, you know, that my, uh, I know all about my tight shot and my, um, with my camera and stuff, but that, that it is what it is. I mean, um, there are multiple reasons why I have to do it this way. Uh, but I hold up the cards, so hopefully that'll be good enough in terms of your um, viewing pleasure. Okay. So the first card um, indicates what vibe you're em emitting. And the reason that this is important is because, you know, according to the Law of Attraction, um, the, what we're, the energy that we are emitting has a lot to do with what we receive, what we attract back from the universe, back from you know, whatever you consider the universe. Everything that comes into your field of reality. And with the Page of Cups, so I, I kind of put it down without, you know, saying what it is. The Page of Cups, and you see, like, the it's associated with Pisces. Pages can be children. And this card can indicate somebody with a very uh, innocent kind of a, um, I wouldn't even, I don't know if I'd say emotion, I mean, this is cup, so it is an emotion. It's supposed to be your your vibration is going to be kind of like uh, similar to emotions, I suppose. Um, but the the what I would say first and foremost is that you're kind of open to anything. You're not, um, you know, a child doesn't discriminate, so it takes everything in, and this can have positive and challenging uh, effects because people that are too open it's almost like like the empath who soaks up the vibrations around them but then they can't discern what's or distinguish their own emotions from somebody else's and um it also can be like, let's say you're looking for love and you have this vibe that has a kind of an innocence to it. And it might be charming to somebody that you're like this. It's funny because I don't see the average um, Virgo person as being like the ba a babe in the woods type of a, a vibe. But maybe your moon is in... Uh, Pisces or something, or maybe you have, you know, I don't know, the moon in conjunction with Neptune, something like that. The point is that you can be an easy mark for somebody who knows that can, sometimes these people that are very cunning, um, I mean, they're very, like, opportunistic, they, they have, um, they can read people like a book, and they can tell who's gullible, who's um, easy to fool because they appeal to the emotions and that person just eats it up with a big spoon. So that could be something that you have to watch out for if you have a pattern. Um, even in the workplace of being kind of gullible, if, you know, somebody praises you, then it's like they can have anything. They can have it all. And there are people who are very um, opportunistic who they 
are very good at, at sensing who's easy to exploit. So the Page of Cups can indicate somebody who, uh, because of their innocent nature, is easy to manipulate and exploit. And um, for other people, this can be simply that you're in a, maybe this is a new stage for you where you no longer have preconceived notions. Maybe you've gone through a spiritual awakening and you're almost like um, a child again. You know how Jesus said, be like a child. And people, some people take things literally and they didn't, they don't understand. I was just reading recently online and they go, what did, they, what did Jesus mean by that? And to me, it seems pretty self-explanatory. Obviously not literally being immature or anything like that, but being um, like a blank slate, being willing to... Um, look at something with new eyes, and that's how children are. They don't, they don't have a bunch of grievances that they hold on to. That comes later, as people get older, and they begin to, you know, uh, carry around a lot of resentments. But children are very forgiving, you know, usually, and they. Are very. Um, that's where some of that innocence comes in. They're not like. Um, they're li they're uh, willing to let bygones be bygones and see things with fresh eyes. Something you need to be more open to receiving. Okay. And we have the eight. Of cups, this is about leaving something which is no longer emotionally fulfilling. Now, what does that mean about you receiving this? It means the ability to be able to leave a situation when you know that it's it's not fulfilling emotionally. And because you're an earth sign, Virgo, you may not put a lot of stock in your emotions. You may be kind of uh, analytical about your feelings and not really um, feeling them. And so you can go on pretty much indefinitely. Let's say you're in a um, negative relationship and you are unhappy and you know that you're unhappy and you want, you, you long for the kind of relationship that is respectful and where you can have fun with that person and you can trust that person. And yet, you don't leave the current relationship. And to me, I've said this multiple times on here, uh, that I feel that with the aid of cups, this can be um, a spiritual quest too. So it's kind of like when you leave a relationship, and I always mention like Eat, Love, Pray, if you've ever read that book. If you haven't, and, you, and one of the reasons you haven't read that book is because it was so popular that you think it might be cheesy or just you know a cliche or something like that no it's a wonderful wonderful book in spite of being very popular and the woman who she had to leave her marriage um she was you know one of the reasons she agonized was because the person was a nice individual it wasn't like she was being abused by that person but she had, she was having a spiritual awakening, obviously, now I realize, in retrospect. And so that's where, you know, she went to Bali and all that stuff. I have to reread that book because it's just, it was just so um, inspiring. But um, the point is, is that she left that relationship, but she was really going towards her relationship with God. And so I often say it's not enough to leave a situation. You have to have somewhere that you're going. And to me, this is like having that kind of um, awareness of, you know, holding a vision for your life that you want. So if this is about a job, for instance, and you feel like you, you've been taken advantage of, maybe you've been strung along and you've been given these empty promises that never have panned out and they know they know that um, 
the typical, I'll just say female uh, Virgo, because I want to use the term Girl Scout, that you're the, like the uh, perfect girl, the poster child of a Girl Scout. You're, you know, you you want to do your best. You want to uh, be of service, and you're the model employee. And you don't, you know, you try not to uh, make waves. You're very just kind of industrious. So you're exactly what they want. But if you have any ambitions or you want that kind of like to see that the work that you've done is rewarded with uh, more responsibility and higher pay, they may kind of hold you at the pass with the, with these um, kind of, um, what you call, you know, vague promises because they have no intention of doing so, but they don't want to come out and say it. So it's up to you if you feel inside that you deserve more to actually act on it and not just tolerate it. And with the, and with the um, Page of Cups, you may create um, excuses for why this is happening instead of seeing it for what it is. The third card is what will come when I'm more open to this. An open meaning, open to being, you know, seeing things realistically and, you know, possibly being willing to consider leaving is the third thing is you will gain some, perhaps there's something behind the scenes that needs to come out. Um, the moon can be about secrets. Um, it's also intuition. So it may be that there is an actual spiritual component to this if this is like a um a job or or if it's even if it's a, a create creativity is connected to the moon perhaps this is something that you need to do for yourself on the creative level and you may be you know somebody who is not um sure that this is something that's going to pan out but you have to um respect your talents uh, sometimes what and and you know artistically and spiritually because the page of cups and the moon card are connected to Pisces and Pisces is a card that is um, associated with creativity and spirituality so the fourth position is the next step you have to take and they call it a leap of faith and uh, the Ace of Cups, so a new beginning, maybe starting a new career in the healing arts, a new relationship with somebody, you know, again, maybe it is with a Pisces or water energy, because um, I'm getting all this water, my goodness. Cancer is, is ruled by the moon, although it's not connected to uh, the moon card in the tarot, for whatever reason, but um, embracing uh, new beginnings in love. I got to get my, <laughs> I just realized I thought I was going to be able to do this in time and I can't. So hopefully this will not go out in the next second and I can actually plug this in. Oops, this is not the right cord. Oh boy, I do not want to, um... well, I could have probably been doing it by now. Let me just um, try to get these cards done. Uh, the fifth one is how you can manifest even more successfully, and this is about gaining clarity uh, about what exactly you want, uh, Virgo. Not being of two minds, but being very one-pointed, perhaps, and um, just clear in general. The, the moon card can be like kind of confusion of sorts, maybe the emotions taking over, and then the last card is the message from the universe, the Four of Cups. And, you know, knowing when you're not satisfied in life. So being in touch with your feelings and with the number four, um, having more uh, of a balanced emotional life. So with all these cards being connected to water, perhaps you've been quite emotional lately and that has affected your life. So I hope that you enjoyed this Virgo. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. I hope this didn't go out yet. 
But thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.